Today I'm going to show you guys how to install our upgraded lead screw nut for the Creality printers. So what I have here is a Creality X-axis assembly with our new upgraded lead screw nut on here. This nut eliminates backlash in the Z-direction to give your Z-axis a little more accuracy and stability. This nut is custom made to fit the Creality machines where your traditional 8mm backlash nuts will not fit. This is a direct replacement for the stock nut and will not interfere with any upgrades or third party parts. This even works with our Ender 3 Dual Z kit. So we're going to get into showing you how to assemble this and I promise it's going to be really quick. This is a very simple upgrade to install on your printer. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the new upgraded lead screw nut on your Creality printer. This is a bracket from a Creality machine. I have it off the printer just for demonstration purposes. You do not need to remove this from your printer to install these nuts. I just have it here because it's easier to show you with it removed than to be doing it on a printer. So I already have the factory nut removed. You can see there's no nut in here. And I have the two screws that were holding the original nut right here. Now, some of the nuts have washers on the screws. If they do have a washer on there, you want to retain that washer when you install this new one. So we have three parts to the new lead screw nut. We have this tension spring, we have the bottom portion, and we have the top portion. When you install this top portion, you're going to want to take the longer piece and insert it through the bottom of your Creality bracket. Now that I have this in the Creality bracket, I'm going to put the screws in that I took off of my stock lead screw nut and thread them in. Now, just as with the stock Creality lead screw nut, you do want to leave these a little loose if you are getting binding on your Z-axis. What I typically do is I'll run my Z-axis up and down with the nuts loose and then tighten them up and keep testing it until I get it to a point where everything's moving correctly and these aren't binding up. But typically that's why you want to leave these loose is so this has some play in the bracket to shift if your lead screw itself isn't straight. Now we're almost done. All we have to do is put our lead screw in the top of the nut here. And if you feel it might take you a sec to get it in just like it did here. And we're going to want to have it so just a little bit of the bottom of this is sticking out. So put your spring on. Push it over the end here. Make sure it's lined up and then thread your lead screw in. When you do this, you're going to have a slight gap between the top piece and the bottom piece. If I pull the spring back here, you'll see what I'm saying. This is how it should be if it's correctly installed. You can see the teeth from the bottom part are meshing with the top part, and I have my spring in place here. And that's it. You can just thread your lead screw back down through, and if you have a dual Z printer where you have two nuts, then just repeat the same process for the other side. Everything should run smoothly through here, up and down. It wouldn't hurt to add some lubrication to this rod. We typically use either dry PTFE lube or white lithium grease. What this nut does different from the stock one is this eliminates play in the vertical direction. So this is your vertical Z here. And by having the tension spring on, you're pushing these two parts apart from each other. It's going to eliminate backlash on your Z axis. I hope this video is clear and showed you guys how to use our new upgraded lead screw nut.